Does throwing an immaculate inning ever cross your mind before you're in the middle of one? Uh, before? No, not at all. It's like a perfect game or no hitter. You don't really shoot for it, it just happens. It's one of those things where it's like, that's why you pitch. An immaculate inning is you get three strikeouts in the inning, but you only use nine pitches. So you go one, two, three, strikeout, one, two, three, strikeout, one, two, three, strikeout. It's obviously very difficult to do because um, a lot of different things can happen. A guy can take a pitch that's just borderline, it doesn't get called. A guy can swing and foul pitch off that extends the at bat in a two strike count, or you can just throw a non competitive pitch. Perfect game, no hitter, and then that. Those are like the, the most dominating feats that you can do, I think, as a pitcher. We've been close. We've been close quite a few times in the past, and a guy fouls off a pitch with two strikes, you're like, oh my gosh, we had a shot at it. And even have an opportunity for that to happen is really unique. Cubs on top of the Pirates, two to one. The 24-year-old rookie right-hander Hayden Wisniewski on the mound. With the uh, Pirates, it was my second career start. I was really nervous, and I always get nervous. Just try to throw away the distractions, and remember that you're good, and you can you can do this. The uh, Pirates were a lot of guys that I came up playing against. So to be honest with you, I had more knowledge about the hitters because they were a bunch of rookies like I was. Jack Sawinski leading things off here in the last half of the fifth inning for Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, me and him have faced a lot. Came up through the Myers with him. He's a really good hitter. He has power, he has juice. But uh, yeah, I know a lot about Jack. High leg kick and the pitch. Fouled off to the right, out of play. All we want. The first pitch I usually have with Yawn is already called. And so you don't have to think about it, it's just one at a time. It's Yawn's game, I just throw it. We're trying not to waste any time. Uh, Hayden's fastball was working really well and it was moving really well and just trying to get ahead and then start going to, to his nasty stuff. That's in there for strike. Owen to the count to Sulinski. I think we both kind of laughed at that because um, it was absolutely an awful pitch. I haven't been throwing my changeup very good at all. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to throw it on the inside half. I'm going to make sure that I throw it for a strike. I mean, that is a changeup up and in. And I think you can kind of see it like I awkwardly catch it. And, you know, as a hitter, you're like, he's probably taking a step back. It's like, why did I just take that pitch, dude? <laughs> that looks like a meatball. I mean, but I think he'd even fool Jack a little bit how good of a pitch it was to hit. And you know what? An immaculate inning, some stuff like that has to happen. Now he's a 0-2 count and he hasn't seen a slider yet. 0-2 now on Sawinski. In there, got him looking. And a strikeout for round number one. Yeah, I mean, this is filthy. You throw him an 0-2 breaking ball, starts about a foot off the plate away, paints the outside corner, nothing you can do. That confidence in being able to spin that slider whenever he wants, you can't, can't really get any, any better than that right there. And there's a great example of the seam shifted wake phenomenon. The best way to describe the seam shifted wake is the ball is actually gonna move more than the hitter expects. And the reason is we're utilizing the way the seams move through the air to create extra movement. Forever in baseball, we've been able to utilize that with fastballs. That's why two seam and four seam fastballs have been around forever. We've now learned how to utilize that with breaking balls. I understand my slider is I get the seams just right to where the seams hit and it makes it move more than it should. That pitch has the ability to start, start off the plate a lot farther than most guys' sliders. It's definitely one of the bigger side-to-side -side pitches that you're going to see in the game. He's throwing kind of like a, a Bugs Bunny pitch, you know. He throws it all the way from one side and it lands all the way on the other side. I'm gonna be honest with you, until I got traded to the Cubs, I thought it was a good pitch, but I didn't know it was like, everybody really likes it. And so now I have a lot more confidence in it because I know it's fine, like it, it's actually good. Like it, I'm, not, I'm not just being told by one person. Here's Zach Collins. First pitch on the way in there for strike. Zineski dealing. 
in the fifth inning. We're just trying to get Hayden through probably innings that he hasn't gotten through in the big leagues yet, you know, going later in the game. So they're going to start swinging a little bit more. Pitch is swung on and missed. Collins in the hole, 0 and 2. You can go to literally anything right now. And I mean, I, I feel like I can predict the outcome of this. Pitch. <laughs> Might be a Shrek out here. You know, Hayden does his little strut off the mound. He's feeling good about himself and has no idea what's about to happen. Like, I, I don't even remember strutting. It's just kind of one of those things where it happens. I don't, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, it's, I've always had it. I just, I don't think about it. It just happens. I don't know. Thank you, Yon, for that one. Didn't steal a strike, but he kept a strike. That's a hard thing to do, especially when the ball's on the hole on the side of the plate. I'm like, Rossi, that's six in a row. That's two. And then guys start cheering, you know, you start to hear the dugout like, let's go, yeah, one more, that kind of stuff. There's Jason DeLay. This is where it starts to get a little dangerous on the, the whole mental side is that we need him to swing and miss here. Jan had a feeling of like, hey, he's probably gonna swing here. Let's not show the slider. Let's go with something smaller, something different. And so we can save the slider for the next pitch or the pitch after. So now the hitter's like, man, he's got a cut or two. Whenever he starts getting pitches like this in is when, you know, some special's happening. Basically, we were just trying to fill it up there, especially in that seventh pitch, because I, I had to be a strike. I had to be. This is a really tough pitch. Eighth one's really, really hard. If you don't give yourself a chance and you mess it up on the eighth one, you're going to be really pissed on the ninth one because you, you definitely had a chance at an immaculate inning. So, yeah, no doubt. We're, we're putting it in the zone. Strike two. It was right down the middle. And I'm telling you right now, that's pretty much where I was aiming. And if he hits it, he hits it. You know, I'm willing to do that for an immaculate inning. So I'm trying not to freak out, basically. You know what's happening, it's so close. But I know that this is an important pitch. I know the, I know the reality. When he gets the ball back, right? There, uh huh, yeah, little look in the dugout. And he's like, all right, we got, we got a shot at this. This is the last pitch. And by that point, we're all like, you know, little kids in a candy store, like jumping up and down, we like, can't wait. I knew we were going to a slider, but also Jan does tell me to shake. So I'll shake off a pitch. He did that to mess with the hitter's head. I'm trying to get you in and out. Let's have a beer after the game. That's really what I'm trying to do. I'm going to grip it and rip it. We're going to let this thing go and give myself a chance to get an immaculate inning. Chance for an immaculate inning on this pitch. And he got him. But it's such a nasty pitch. You see how far out in front the delay is. A little point to the dugout there because he knew we were we were on it. He liked it. <laughs> he was fired up, and that was pretty cool. He is so pumped. He can't even keep his shoulders down. Like he's, he's so jittery. It's so cool, man. Like That is definitely a, a really cool notch that you can put on your belt from your career, man. I grip and ripped. I was almost going to force it. And that was the best one I threw all inning. I look at Tommy and I point at him. Then I go to Yawn and, and I ask him, I go, hey, you ever caught one of those before? And he goes, yeah, I think I've caught like five of them before. <laughs> Which, I mean, that that's terrible on my part. Look at this. <laughs> I should have like let him do his thing and like let him think it's, yeah, oh, way to go, man. It's my first one too. When he says that, he's like, oh, man. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty cool moment for him. Obviously, for all of us that got to experience it, it was, pretty, it was pretty fun. I tried to hold it together, but, you know, even I, I, I kind of cringe at looking at my how goofy I was. One, two, three, strikeout. One, two, three, strikeout. One, two, three, strikeout. I threw a It's something that doesn't happen very often. Of course, I'm going to be pumped about that one. <laughs>